This insole bright is great for hot pads. So that is what I'm using to make this 4th of July hot pads for my son. So right now I am just making a pattern. I just took a piece of cardboard, cut it eight by 10 inches, and then I am just trimming off the corners. And I'm going ahead and I'm cutting out, or I'm tracing around the insole bright to get it ready for what we are gonna do next. So now I'm just cutting some strips. This is a great scrap buster. We're gonna make just a fun sew and flip as you go, just wonky square is what I'm going to do for these hot pads. So I'm just getting everything ready now. And I just put my first square on there and I'm just doing a straight stitch and quilting down and quilting at least a couple of lines in the middle of it. And then I just put it good to good and sew the one down and then flip it and stitch it. So I'm doing that throughout the whole thing and just getting everything stitched on. So I'm just getting the last piece pieces sewn on here to the hot pad and then I will take it over to my ironing board and get everything a nice press. So just make sure just to iron on the fabric part, not the insole bright part, because it'll melt it. So now I'm cutting the back part out that I want for the back piece of the hot pad. And then I'm trimming around the front piece. And I'm gonna go ahead and trace around and I'm doubling up the insole bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the back part too. So this is really fun. I had fun, I'm messing around making another quilt with jeans and I thought this would be a fun idea to put a pocket onto the back part of the hot pad. So right now I'm just quilting it. So I'm just doing straight lines with the insole bright and the backing piece of fabric. So just for fun. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quilt that. Then I will go over and, oh, I'm showing you guys here that I'm using a denim needle because I'm changing it over to my denim needle. And then you could put your walking foot on too if you want. So I'm just trimming the inside of this pocket. Then I'm placing it on top of the back part and just doing a zigzag stitch all the way around it. And I'm making sure to go reinforce it at the top part there. So now I'm just putting the good sides together, just the right sides together, and pinning all the way around with the clips, and then I'm taking my needles where I need to flip it, so I just left the opening there. So I'm just trimming off some of the pieces and flipping it around, just flipping it to the right side, and then clipping it, because I'm just gonna do a top stitch all the way around, just a straight top stitch just to get everything sewn down together. So that is my hot pads that I made for my son. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And please subscribe to my channel and have a great day.